Tuesday's workout is called Forever. It is three four minute AMRAPs with four minutes of rest and recovery in between. This is a really short work interval, so make sure we're warming up so we can hit this workout at full tempo and try to get as far as we can in that fast four minutes. The first four minute AMRAP is gonna be 27 or 21 calorie assault bike. Since we're fresh, we're gonna to wanna to hit this really hard to see if we can finish a full round of this workout. After your 27 or 21 calorie assault bike, you're gonna get off, you're gonna perform tw uh, 27 burpees. These are traditional chest to floor, jump and clap overhead burpees. We're looking to jump the feet a little wider than the hands as they come up, then open the hips, jump and clap overhead. Finish with 27 chest to bar pull-ups. Again, you're probably gonna be running low on time at the end of four minutes, so go for a big set unbroken, as many as you can. See if you can finish that round under the four minutes. Then you'll rest for four minutes. The second four minute AMRAP will be a 21 or 15 calorie assault bike, 21 burpees, and then 21 toes to bar. So we're switching up the gymnastics movement depending on which round we're in. We're looking for the feet to pass behind you on the backswing and then bring both feet to make contact with the bar between the hands at the top of each rep. Rest another four minutes. The final four minute AMRAP is gonna be 15 or 12 calories on the bike, 15 burpees, and then 15 chin over bar pull-ups. The home gym variation will follow the same um, work to rest ratio. The only difference is gonna be we will replace the assault bike with jumping lunges. So you're gonna to touch the back knee gently to the floor at the bottom of each rep. Stand up and open the hips tall as you jump and switch sides every rep. Tuesday's midline accessory work will start on the GHD. When we're setting up the GHD, we're gonna have our feet between the two rollers, and we want the hips just behind the middle of the GHD pad so that we're hanging off the end there. Start with 30 GHD sit-ups. We're looking to go down, hands touch the floor, and then straighten the knee, squeeze the thigh and the hips as you come up. That'll help engage the hip flexors as well as the psoas on the way up. At the top, you're touching the roller pads on each rep. After your 30 GHD sit-ups, we're gonna move to the ground. We'll perform 40 ab mat sit-ups. Shoulders touch the floor behind you. Sit up tall, touch the ground slightly in front of your toes. You can go in that butterfly position or feet flat on the floor, whatever's more comfortable for you. Finally, 50 hollow rocks. You'll remove that ab mat from behind you. You'll assume the hollow position with the hands overhead, feet squeezed together, and you're gently rocking the shoulders on and off the ground, keeping the stomach squeezed. After your hollow rocks, another 40 ab mat sit-ups, and another 30 GHD sit-ups. If you don't have a GHD available, you can perform weighted ab mat sit-ups. So uh, hold on to a dumbbell or uh, dumbbell hold on to a dumbbell or plate on your chest and perform 30 weighted ab mat sit-ups instead of the 30 GHD sit-ups. Tuesday's recommended mobility will be a pike stretch. Sit with your feet extended in front of you, hold on to your toes, let your lower back uh, stretch and relax and the hamstrings. If you have tight hamstrings where you're unable to perform this uh, stretch with your knees straight and relatively relaxed, use a band or a towel. Wrap that around your feet. Use that to gently pull yourself forward on the stretch. Then you'll go into a 40 second up dog stretch. Flip over so you're face down. You're going to use your hands to gently push your chest up and off the ground, stretching out the hip flexors, abs, and um, quads a little bit. Make sure you're breathing on these stretches. Finally, go into a child pose. Bring your hips up high, reach your hands forward straight in front of you, sink the head and chest towards the floor. 
This should be a little bit of an active stretch where you're trying to push your chest and shoulders towards the ground on these reps. If you have a chair or couch or GHD available, recommend elevating your hands. You'll be able to get a little more. You can rest your hands on top of whatever you have available and then push the head and chest towards the floor on this stretch.